And RD already ready for it as well. He's gonna miss a couple of shots though, and easy will. Oh, it's actually. Hang on. Okay, never mind. Gets the frag. Opening onto that sort of position. Infrequent holding the aggressive line as well. Will they actually overlook this one? The right click comes out, but it's only one. Ninim. It would at least sort of equalize slightly, but they're tapping away, and there's so much that he has to try and sort of take some control back of. But in a one versus three, he can make big things happen. The wall will go down. That's going to make it a little bit awkward. Means he needs to go for the swing. The snake bites have come out, but he's inside that. He's dashed in. It's made it awkward, but at least flesh it. Get this plant down. They're up so close. Already sort of sitting middle of the site. Ronsky narrowly misses the no-scope. Now they've got his information. Swirl's going to be able to capitalize and find that frag. Jungle Wow is there, though. That's the main thing, but it's going to be Swirl looking to pick up another. And running out of bullets here. Easy's actually going to be able to bring it back slightly. But still the disadvantage going the way of Bliss. It's going to be a tough retake here, Mitch. Jungle Wow has to go big with his Guardian. But Tailwind allows a little bit of extra space. Noz going to sort of bait Easy in there. Ninim to find one more. And that is all on the Fleshest. One versus four. He's going to be tagged up immediately. And that's basically Wildcard saying goodbye to that force. And, you know, they can move into the bonus in full comfort, Mitch, obviously. Some Jungle Wow. Very, very impressive on this Viper in this map. I've seen so many big moments for him. But for the time being, he's just going to wait. Shocked up, looking to break the wall down. RDW trying to make his way through the A position. And he might actually be able to do a lot of damage on this flank here if he does find the timing right. Jungle Wow for the time being has very much been stuck towards this snowman area, but he still continues to walk on in. Should be able to find one very, very easily. And that's the frag. There it is. Starts off well, denying that member of jungle. He does try to try to move around that area. And now that's that pincer tactic, sort of holding them at bay. And already onto this defusal somehow, though. Flashes might actually have this, Mitch. He's going to be taken down. Ronsky picks up another, but that spike, it's half ticked at this point in time. Ronsky misses another. We'll have to sort of move away now. He may just still want to go for this. I mean, he still could kind of get onto it, but probably a little bit too late. Has to fall away now. We'll be taken down by infrequent. And oh, it was tight, but well held by Wildcard. It's over dark. He's gonna pop a poison orb and get out of dodge, and he's even able to anticipate major, so the positioning from this man is just immaculate on the lurk right now. They're taking down very, very low inside the poison cloud, but he's actually managed to sleuth over towards the other side. Luckily though, easy, nice and sharp, we'll be able to hit the shot. So will Ronsky, still a winnable round here, taking the man advantage now as they start to waltz back in over towards this site, but infrequent. The counter lurk, the double up, the man is gonna be pushing through this mid tunnel in just a second, but Ronsky up on top, utilizing the blade storm, getting all the way up towards yellow, now to the other side. He dashes up again, but infrequent now, he's given up the goat here, Mitch. His position is known, and they're already onto this defuse. They can hope for something, but Ronsky's gonna deny and that is a much better round. Looking to maybe couple, uh, fire a couple of warning shots. Doesn't go for it just yet, but now Swirl. Fortunately, he's been tagged up. Easy's going to be able to connect a couple of shots with the Hunter's Fury out. Taking him down. Nin him up on top, though. This spike yet to go down, though, Mitch. Yeah, Bliss opening up with two picks is making this very, very hard for Wildcard, giving them a lot of pause for thought. That wall is no longer an option to play off of and get that plant down, so they're going to have to do this the hard way. Find a couple of picks and open up this site the old-fashioned way, and it's not going well at all. Oh, oh, oh no. Like a rock right now. Remaining. There it is. Just how clean. And the hesitancy, right? The second that wall's destroyed, there's just not really a whole lot that can be done. 15 seconds, ticking away. RDW needs to go down here as well. 10 seconds left. Won't be able to really save a whole lot. Maybe just sort of try and take one or two weapons in the process. But Ronsky's already onto that line. Information gathered by the recon bolt. And Flesh is to pick up. I mean, uh, that could be interpreted in many different ways, many different contexts, but we should probably focus on the game because Bronski is just absolutely taking things over until he unfortunately makes a small mistake, push it into the smoke on top of the dart. In the meanwhile, Noz gets the plant down and we're thrown into the three on four. Ninim this time is the man towards mid, but unfortunately, RDW has been doing that dance for most of the half and he's been anticipated. Speaking of the man, he's got a full task ahead of him here, Mitch. You know, mate. I love a good opportunity to 1v4 here and inside the Vipers bit, it's certainly the place to do it. Sort of shifting around different positions in the box, they need to move in as a unit, trying to gather some information. But that time is ticking, luckily though Jungle, with the predictive shot, we'll be able to find him. That's the thing. And then the res comes in, Mon's getting that plant down and... Look, wild card. even if they can't get this round, damage would be great for them here. Great shot from Jungle Wow as well, on the recovery, moving all five straight through that mid position. Precious is prime, but so is Ninim. Ninim always looking good. The blade storms come out, Mitch. This is the hype moments that we live for inside Ninim. Dashing up to the top. He does miss a couple of blades. Oh, he has the one left, but he's utilized it, Mitch. And now infrequent onto the other side. It's a one versus one. And Ninim oh, on the right wing. The 4K. The abs. There may be a watermelon brand man playing Valorant sooner than people think if the room is. <laughs>
No leaks. <laughs> Not playing that other game anymore. <laughs> oh! Once again, the line. Oh my him. god. He's just too sharp. Even in the drop. We'll be able to find it. Spots out. Oh, mate, Fleshist, and he can just tap on. I mean, he doesn't get, doesn't get the shot in the end. Ah, uh, swap there. across here. That's oh. why. Hang on. Tonight. Just mm. two very quality series. Ronsky is on tonight as well. Here we the go. Re it will. It's going to be awkward, though. Unless they go for the recontestion, but it's going to be Ronsky getting up on top. And that's uh, a cheeky little three. He's looking for a couple more, but it's all on a Ninim. Had that big B hold ahead. The timing doesn't quite fare him, and Ninim. It's going to rip his head off. You know, that's around the way you can call uh, Jet Diff. Yeah, Not I mean, very accurate, Ronsky's, but... <laughs> Ronsky stuck around for a little too long there, unfortunately. Hunter's Fury is going uh, in there. Ooh. And one back as well. Jungle Wow just wide peeking while the Hunter's Fury comes out, and he's been rewarded for it. A high head full of kills go the way. Bliss Major snuck through the back lines as well here, Mitch. Yeah, huge positioning on the flank. They, you know, both of these teams are not shying away in any way, shape, or form for picking up that pace and moving in on the rear. And... Oh, wildcard just sending okay. it straight in, but Jungle Wow's just going to chuck the Vipers in the rear. Is. Gonna break it though. Unfortunately, no right click here today. Moving on in though, Swell's actually gonna be able to find that opener. Taking it. Oh, Ronsky, okay. Very confident peek there. And now they have to come in on the wrap. They might be able to break the sort of position. Easy. Awesome shot from Easy. Oh my word, it's all in a ninim. One versus three. And does he have to reload that Phantom? I think he does. He's actually gonna swap over to the Vandal. Pick it up. Oh my god, cheeky flick. And onto the other side. He can find this. Ninim! Don't blow my mind again, my friend. I don't think I can handle it at this point in time. He's looking up towards oh. the top, but he's done it. Holy moly, four. Monsky again trying to punish any aggressive peaks. And after all that waiting, they haven't really pulled any extra rotation off, left. mainly because there's been no real noise over towards that big side of the map. Revealing They're up ready. close though now. 20 seconds. Really need to explode at this point in time. Oh, okay. A little bit of a reversal of the wall, the other side of the map. They're going to try and break it nice and early. Easy is there to support, but so swell to find the frag, dropping the spike planter. And now they very much need to lock this down right now. Bliss need to be full force ahead, but it's going to be infrequent. Running it straight back in. Ronsky over towards the other side. Jungle might be able to spot one on top, but they're making it awkward. He does manage to drop one in the process. Off the spike refusal now. Jungle's picked up another. But it's about looking at the chat. The three minute delay later, just seeing everyone start to explode when something is. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my. What? Down, okay! I've just. Please get the ace right now. Run it in. Find it. Oh there it is. God. That was like some Call of Duty. Very, very easy call to just start splitting B. He's still keeping Ooh. tabs on this part of the map, but his eyes on the mini map, unfortunately, and that's going to give the man uh, advantage oh away. Back to the four on four now. The minimal skin on that uh, Odin, kind of scary, or the Ares, whatever it is. But Ronsky is in a good position to deny plenty here. On the other side of the kitchen, Mage is also there. So very much Bliss getting their way back into this game and the round. You see only the bonus, but Jungle Wow is holding that line. I'm all this time around, thank God. They've got the man advantage <laughs> as well. Drone in, just trying to create a little bit more space. Trying to work out where these players are playing from. Ronsky looking for another pick because he knows he can dash out if he finds it. It's his time to shine right now as they do move on in. There's a stack and not quite the third Noz. It's going to be able to at least trade it out, pushing on in. They need to get onto this diffusal immediately, but onto the other side. There's that flank coming in, looking to put the pressure on right now. Noz, though, making quick work of it. Swirl is actually going to be able to connect with another as well. Been plenty of damage happening. Swirl, he might have turned this round on his head right now, Mitch, but Jungle, he's in the denial position right now. Swirl holding the line, swinging on in, but he takes down an diffuser, Mitch. It is going to be Swirl, but there's not enough time. And once again, we go down to the absolute wire. Flame retake B. In the meanwhile, though, Bliss just sending it straight into A, walking up with the drone, sending it straight into the site. Minim not spotted by that. And as Ooh. a result, thought he was going to get one from Ronsky. Surprised he goes for the repeat on 50 HP. Man's feeling oh, confident. No. And Spike as the trades A. go in, wild card to end up a man. I was going to say that was uh, Swell's moment. The Empress popped. They line up for him, but it's actually infrequent to find a couple. Now Major, he's going to be able to utilize that dismiss, but Ninim gets the old Jet Diff once more, and he's just hitting shots left, right, and center. It's on a jungle out. Had a clutch opportunity before, but it wasn't quite enough, and is he deep enough? He's going to be able to hold it. Yep, he's there it is. Enough. Clean. Down two. Cute little play from jungle. Just trying to use that poison orb to try to get into a 
closer position, but Swell giving him no respect is going to find that man advantage. Drone onto the line, just pushing Ninim away, giving him difficult positioning. Easy, almost using that Hunter's Fury to perfection. If he gets away with a big position though now, Ninim, you know, they'll be so upset, they'll be so disappointed, but the man can just sort of continue to put these rounds up, no matter where he is on the map, that's a second. He's even got the Tailwind back to the site, Mitch. This guy is just so good and so confident in his own skill. Oh, we might have to talk about Major though. Walked all the way through A, deal with it. Absolutely, and obviously, you know, Major on that reign of the clutching champion to see if he's going to be able to find the old, uh, you know, devourers if necessary. Infrequent though on the actual rope, and he's going to be able to get another one. Major, that's three. Now it's into the one versus one. It's going to be the slow orb down, but he's holding the line, and it's going to be Noz. And I'm looking to pick up more, but they've already started to run the clock down, and that's a good call. They're rotating now, but I know that Wildcard will sniff this one out very quickly. No, look at Ronsky though. He's in up top, top of pipes right now. Got full control over towards A. Bliss just trying not to get picked oh. on the cross. Well, what a bloody shot, mate. He's even going to dismiss a round and does spot Major in middle. The spike can potentially go down. Hold on. Oh, he's slow. I've found the timing spike here. Planted. Cloudburst Quite. might just get him out. That's okay. That barrier orb, or the slow orb, sorry, was such perfectly timed to keep him at bay for a little while. But it's going to be an all out for all here, Mitch. A site to be recontested. Three versus three. Bliss need to continue this run to make sure it gets back. Great pick from Major. Falling back with this miss once more. RDW can't quite find the connection. And that's all on the swirl. He will get one. At the end of the round, just sticking around towards A. If they tried to force it into B there, that would have been the end of the round for Bliss. And that just goes to show you the prowess that these lads in the roles between these two teams as the spike goes down on B. Holding that line. Ninim up on top. I know how sharp he's been with that Sheriff tonight, but unfortunately, not going to be able to quite connect here. Major, very much poised to go big in this position. He's also got the support for that swirl. Great opening shot. This is another young Sharpie that we've seen many a big thing from. That's going to be the Viper's pit utilized as well in towards this position, making it awkward. But Noz has actually picked up one. And Jungle Bow, that's obviously the uh, pit going down and now in frequent, all in his foot position. But how does the game end that way? Damage already expended. And, you know, by sort of sending the ring around the rosy, Ninim is inside mid. And I think he's made a lot of sound. But all this control established on the opposing side of Bliss. If they can get past Ninim, they should have a freebie site. Yeah. This duel towards mid is going to be very key, though. And Ninim is going to win that already. Off to some of his antics. In the meanwhile, there was a pick on the other side of the map. Wildcard now up a player, but with Bliss with full elbow control here, this is oh. going to be a hard retake for Wildcard. And he can't even get the right peak. You know, he's got to be frustrated there. He was patient, but maybe overstepped his welcome a little bit much and in frequency getting work done. Great utility usage from the Astra as well, trying to sort of force him into that gravity well. Plenty of damage dealt by Infrequent. He is taken very, very low now, and hopefully they don't overstep their welcome because RDW is actually there. And the spike, Mitch, look how far away it is. Where do they even go off the away. They still don't have hookah control either. Noz is already in premium position to shut this round down, and he's even just going to grab a little bit extra. Lovely to see. He's even avoided that flank through hookah. Oh, no. so that was an awkward situation. That little. Straight in as well, Major. Utilizing the satchels, catching off guard very, very early. Swell certainly not ready for that one. Utilizing the recon bolt as well to gather the info. Noz in the astral form. Ronsky's walked up. And this is the pace that you want to see from Bliss. Yeah, I think Spike there's a bit of miscommunication Spike going down. on right now for both teams, actually, not just for Wildcard. And this is yeah. getting a little miscellaneous. Uh oh It's happening all over the place. Can't keep track of what's happening. There's the Hunter's Fury. And finally, it has ended. We're in a one on two. The spaghetti's everywhere. And Infrequent's trying to pick it up and put it in his pockets. I was just about to say, that's the best place to keep your spaghetti until you trip over. And it's just all over the carpet. Mum's not happy. Standing ahead. Oh, if he only had the additional shock dart. Both so low. Good round for Ronsky though. He's got the Emperor. Covering each other. The timing was there actually. RDW definitely didn't have him frequent covered there. But they won't realize it. Instead, it's just going to be the site hit now. Straight in, Ronsky on the top of the site will be pulled in by the gravity well. He's actually going to pick up Swirl in the process. Nidamik at least going to be able to find that one, forcing into the face. Ronsky keeps getting the frags. The Empress is now available as well, Mitch. It's going to be a little awkward. Nidamik to try and find it. He will drop Ronsky midair, though. Nicely done.
You are and they uh, actually have gone for this teleport. The Cosmic Divide's going to go down on the side of Bliss just to try and sort of keep them at bay for a little while longer. Mm, there's and the they show on for Major, though. See if that makes a difference. Cosmic Divide helping them get that plant I down. Planted. Nods. Hasn't heard a single thing. Doesn't know where these players are positioned. Nidham actually going to clear short. So they're going to be pretty aware that either someone's in U-Haul or the majority of them should be towards Shower. So Wildcard with a pretty good read for this retake. Ninim, the wow factor. Unfortunately denied. Major's going to be able to take that one. Already all the way up on the site, but now the showstopper will be utilized from Major. And he sort of keeps them at bay for a little while longer. A little bit of a fear tactic, if anything. RDW gets one, so it's down into a two on two now. The pressure is there, but oh no! The pressure actually amounts. It's going to get a little awkward. He can be able to find a frag, but is he going to have enough time to get on in? Of course not. Does Noz have the time? I think he does. Oh, yes, he does. No. Camera. Gonna freak him out a little bit, but good use of the gravity. Well, he's actually punished as a response, but that's that flicky aim from Swirl that we're so used to seeing. Man, he end up biting him in the butt if he's not watching the right angle at the right time, but Oops. that's an easy kill on to, well, easy. Let's get traded back from Ronsky though, so. As well. At least able to find this plan. RD though, has that flank you spoke about. Unfortunately, not able to get the spike down either. Upon into the other side. How long is that Nebula going to last, though? They've actually spotted him out now, Mitch. This is awkward for Ronsky. Ronsky, mate, you've done it again. A little bit of an overextension. And now that spike is going to go down, of course, in the position. Heading through the teleporter, though, will be Ninim. That's a great use of the Cosmic Divide here. It's really going to flush these members back. But Ninim, he somehow found the shot. 10 points of HP. Narrowly misses, but he's keeping them at bay. Easy to leap through. Looking to find a couple more. Fleshes will be able to strike. And now it's the two on two, Mitch. Looking to settle down, but they've looked to tap onto the spike defusal as well. Noz trying to reel them in, seeing if they can find anything, but easy again. All on an in him. And he might just want to try and save this operator. Nicely done from Bliss. Used to throw him off as usual. Ronsky's going to try and follow that owl drone up as well. But look at RD. He's already found his way all the way down mid. And in him to find another open of Ronsky. He's been punished time and time again, but at least easy can sort of uh, equalize a little bit here. I have the spike. Yeah, this is Viper's bit that's so annoying. He's just got a judge in it. They're going to try to use the utility to flush RDW out. They know it's a judge now. They're just going to spam him out of position. That's just beautiful from Bliss. Using the utility to perfection there. That's the B site cracked open. Not that they know that. Either way, Flesh is, is spotted up trying to advance. Bliss, they have that cosmic divide available. They can drop that across the back of the site if they want to. Alrighty, back and forth. Bliss in a position, but oh, infrequent. The solo man on towards this B site. Easy has to try and pick up two, isolating these picks. He might be able to die, but it's infrequent. Patience, poised, perfection. There's that drone through. He is going to break that trip with his drone. Very nicely done from infrequent, just clearing out hookah and then making sure he breaks that trip there. And now the reposition starts from wildcard. Starting to migrate back towards this B side of the map. It's just easy here with the Cypher. And they're going to play retake on that side. He hasn't got a dart for 14 seconds. So they might have to wait for that to come back on the line before they complete this retake. Oh, Major. Major's great. It is indeed. It's going to be able to really sort of uh, force them into this site now, I suppose. And whilst the Nebulas are down from the Astra, it's going to give them at least a little bit of free real estate on towards this site. But Shock Dance over the top might be able to find something once again. No Major puts himself in the position, but Swirl quick on the trade. A dink on the Ghost as well. Thin of Noz getting the job done. Noz lines them up. It's all on to just this uh, one versus two, though. Jungle Wow, oh, they're inside the site. He's going to tap onto it. That's going to have to pull them out. They have to look, certainly. They have to look indeed. And now Infrequent, going to go for the contest, but it's not going to be enough. Jungle Wow can't quite... There's the old line. It is good enough. Thought it was actually going to catch off Ninim there, but I guess a decent opening here for Jungle. This is the bathrooms contest at the moment. Wildcard trying to pin them in. They're doing a great job of just isolating these players in towards the bathrooms. And eliminating them one at a time. Viper Wall doing a good job just keeping people at bay. Easy. You had your shot, mate. You had your chance. Down from Wildcard. They'll show exactly what side of the site they're playing. Oh, that's beautiful. The updraft from Ninim in combination with the dart to the back. Jungle Wow's got absolutely no idea what's going on. The late backstab from RDW. What a bloody play from Wildcard. 
Super clean. Responsibility of the teammates. The overgrowth going to give RDW a little bit more health. And wow. Yeronsky is there, sure to find one, but that was just domination. And Sarud is being minded here by infrequent. Oh, timing. Not quite enough. That's going to be a Vandal upgrade too. So RDW has got a little bit more on his plate now. Looking forward towards three members up towards long. The boom bot's going to go for some info. But there's a guiding light available, Mitch. Might be able to come out and keep them at bay, but no major. That's great utilization of the paint shells now. And Noz, Ninim, they're both here. Ninim's looking for more, but it's going to be major. And uh, Ronski, to close it out, a good retake. And Bliss, they're not done just yet. That's a much needed round. They're actually going to hit the retake straight <laughs> uh, back towards B now. It's all freshest in the back of the site, all alone. How does he go here? So much pressure on him, and he did actually find one. 70 points of HP, it's enough to continue the job forward, but Swirl, Swirl, he's found a couple. And now it's going to make it really awkward for this retake that could be taking it to not only map, but series point, Mitch, and the dink on the way through. It's all onto just jungle. Like I said, it's, uh, you know, Valorant's a year old, but still you get these rounds where something completely crazy happens like someone just sends it down mid and then no one gets killed by the rocket and all here what's swell got swell doesn't have his dog either so it's going to be hard to recontest this map control with utility they're gonna to have to do it the old-fashioned way 30 seconds left dogs at the kennel swell looking to go pick him up shortly and that's a cheeky little ferrari peak as well on the other side seekers come out wildcat absolutely looking to close the door on this one right now noz We'll bring it down to a two versus five. five. Ronsi's going to be spotted out by the Seekers. And Mitch, an anticlimactic end to this series, potentially. Won't count them out. As always, you know, I love a comeback. I love a clutch story. But there's just so many things that need to occur here. Moz swinging out of the poison. Bronski, last stand standing, and uh, the Cosmic Divide just for good measure. I'm gonna say that's done and dusted here, Mitch, and uh, 